It's the same thing over and over again. The same damn device becoming the reployer of this game where I'm like, I don't even know what it does, but it's in every building. Can't carry any more of these. Give me a lot of batteries. Oh, that one's interactive, but doesn't open for now. Perhaps. I have like a ton of these things. Already. A lot of area right here. What? What's that hook up to? Crash bags. Oop. Nope. Can't read that one. I can't. It looks so much like the ones I'm allowed to read all the time. And some notebooks here and there. This is some regular old science paper. They must have been doing science around here. Uh, SNW, SNW project instructions. Guard at duties, scientist duties. Oh. Not only is it basically unreadable, it's not in English. <laughs> if I look at this one over here, it said, uh, said the other so. No, I can't even. I can't even read enough to make out what it what it says in its original language, but it's it's not translated, so I can't read it in mine either. I think I think it's in a different language. Um, that gate's all blocked up and closed. There's boxes in there that are normally interactive, but I can't get to the gate right now. Not without a key. Anyone drop a key on the floor? Just being thorough, you never know. The control room. Is this gonna be the room I saw through the gate? Nope, not quite. You're not ringing, are you? No. It almost sounds like a really dull alarm, but it could also be a fan. Sometimes a rotating thing will be on the ceiling and it'll only sometimes creak. But I'm kind of thinking of like a... that top... whatever the thing... that weird ceiling ventilation rotating thing is that's on top of uh, warehouses sometimes. And we're underground, so that probably isn't really relevant now. Nope. It's a, it's a far away alarm. Let's see. That's a bunch of binary. High memory areas available. DOS driver. You're free to translate that if you want, I guess. I'm not <laughs> dealing with binary. I don't think Jonas fixed that circuit breaker properly. There was a brief blackout today with breaker 2. You couldn't open the main door or do anything at the main hall, but now everything should be in order. If it doesn't work, make sure everything is okay in the electrical room, which is just outside the bunker. I'm gonna not press that for a little bit and look around, just in case. You guys don't open. A lot of things that don't open around here. I still have nine packs of batteries left. Just coffee and the usual. Whoa. Unlimited power. The uh same unplugged microwave we've grown grown so friendly with over the time. Can't carry any more of these. Screw it. I still have nine packs of batteries. Keep myself stocked up. All right, let's press the nightmare button real quick. After I do a save number two. Hope I haven't forgotten what number I'm on. Sounds like an alarm. Oh.
Is that train accident we heard about? Is it like a train accident cover up or is this the related to the railroad worker incident that we heard about? Seems like an awful important discovery. Now I've got photographic evidence. Does the door back it does open back here. I feel like if I used the elevator I would have been missing out on all this. After all these hours, I'm just wondering how I'd react if I turned a corner and there was just a person there. And then they started running at me, or something. That's a fear that I'm slowly developing. Like, surprise, this is just a really slow burn horror game and now you've reached the horror part after ten hours. I can't enter this room because the toilet blocks the door. Holy crap. That is the opposite of ergonomic. And I'm not even entirely sure what ergonomic means. You're blocking the door. You're, I can normally open. I can. I can usually pick you up. Guess we're not going in there. There were a lot of people down here. Once upon a time. And now everything's locked. I saw the yellow supports for the desk and thought they were, uh, a key. The key fob hanging down. Dusty in here. I don't think I can feel Even more? Parts. Holy crap. Bunch of junk food in there. Lots of bunks. Lots of bunks and lockers. There were tons of people in here. They didn't exactly clean up when they left either. What is that? What is that? Can't really make it out. I don't, almost looks like a piece of a computer or something. I don't think it's a key though. Or a key card. Wow, screw you if you were the guy in the last bunk, huh? Look at the clearance you get. I crawl out from through here. Getting out of your bunk had to be such a pain in the ass. Time stopped around midnight, or noon, I guess. Ah! Didn't expect it to open. More batteries. That makes ten packs of batteries for the flashlight. Angry face. Say yay. What a huge area. That two sh is that what the door is, or is that two shipping containers jammed in front of the door? I think it's- I think it's the door. Our character's not super interested in reading the documents he's finding. There's tons of, uh... There's like scientific notebooks everywhere. Just on every desk. Blogging up the area. The showers. I have like a ton of these things already. Who's leaving batteries? I don't like that sound. <laughs> Why is it so creaky? It's tile. Does tile creak? Huh. Okay, I don't like how noisy that room is. I'm leaving. I don't think I can fit these in my pockets. Fucking teddy bear. Why is this room? Stop it. Stop creaking at me. Can I flush the te teddy bear? No? Huh. 
I'm just waiting for the moment of you there. You're not supposed to be in here. Uh, oh. Nightmare Teddy. Wait, the Teddy's glowing like I can pick it up. I can. Come with me, Mushroom Teddy. We shall be bestest friend. Take a seat. Come back later. I can't think of bears without, like... That teddy bear without thinking of it, of it with, like, a Russian accent now because of, uh, that corn game, Maze. Boy, that's a whole... Check that out if you have, if you don't know what I'm talking about. That's a... That was a bizarre experience. M-A-I-Z-E. Like, yes, it does feature actual mazes a bit, but mostly it's named after the fact that corn is also... was a related word as maze. Well, that's not going anywhere. Someone should get that fixed. Can't read the menu. Come with me, mushroom bear. We must infect the oval world. There you go. You are a chunky computer. Is this open? Nope. Not getting in through there. More Can batteries. Holy more crap. Place. There's so many batteries around, I almost expect this place to be like, uh... What is it? Like Outlast, where it's just dark all the time, everywhere? Are they, oh, they're always set to 36, aren't they? Like, I almost wonder if this place was intentionally, like, meant to be way darker than it is. That is unreadable and... Definitely not in English. But that's in English, so that's kind of weird. I have like a ton of these things already. Wow, they want these files out of this specific room fast. This entire thing is stripped bare and thrown asunder. Whereas a lot of stuff's kind of left around. Were these files not as important? Or did they just run out of time? I mean, they're all empty. Not sure what I expected from that one. It's that last area where they're all ripped out almost reeks of, like, desperation. Almost like here they were less desperate. Hey, I made a staircase. There we go. Huh. Anywhere I haven't checked yet. It almost seems like there's they were desperate. Like at first they were reasonable with stripping out all the stuff, then at some point they were like, fuck it. Throw them everywhere. We have to get every single damn thing out. Uh, did, am I missing anything around here? Trying to keep track of the branching paths. It's not always entirely easy. I'm still torn between this area and the elevator, but this place seems pretty story climactic. Wrong room. You will come with me, Teddy, who is mysteriously not dangerous to me, but is also super infected, Teddy. Ah. Oh, that's a nice bit of attention to detail. <laughs> You can't pick it up with both- you can't use both hands with your devices and pick up a physics object. The game will be like, no, you're human, you only have two hands, what are you doing? I wanna go up or down? Oh, there's a fan above me. Uh oh, I almost fell to my death. Below me seems to just be this guy. Nice, it's good to know that we're breathing in ventilated, uh... Mushroom air that would probably kill me. Alright, so we probably want to go up. And go up this floor. That's the fan I can't get past. There's a small hole there. 
I don't think I can fit through that. Also a door here. That looks like something from Alien Isolation right there. Gas sensors. Fan closes automatically when all sensors detect toxic gas. Toxic gas. I mean, there's toxic gas down there. Gonna go back over here. You don't open. Oh, area over here. Alright, let's see what you connect up to. Where am I now? Another classic looking boardroom area with weirdly inefficient circle oval desk. Eh. Honestly, the, the, the oval table's more nice than the usual rectangular one for, for these kinds of meetings, I suppose. Hello. My name is Leander Berg, and I'm the leader of the SNW scientist team, B2. As you may already know, this project is very important for the future of our country. We are between two major alliances, and we cannot trust either. If there's going to be another war, it won't last long. That's why you are here today. We are going to guarantee a safe future for our children and for everyone who lives in this country. Next, I'm going to tell you a bit about this underground complex and what we're doing here. The scientist team lives in the accommodation wing next to the laboratory. The door code is 2077. Interesting. <coughs> Oh, it just stopped, huh? We stop at knowing the 2077. Xander Berg, isn't he the guy that went missing? Like, somewhat importante? Two, zero, seven, seven. Whoa! How did I do that? s and Bunker Report, we have some major issues within our science team. Xander Berg and one other scientist have escaped. We are going to start searching the area with the help of the Stahlberg Police Department and find out how Berg managed to escape. I'm sure we will find Berg in no time. Unfortunately, one of the scientists was found dead in the hallway between rooms G1 and G2. He had a strange note full of codes with him. So far, the evidence suggests suicide, but, we'll, but we will be looking more to this matter when we have time. The science team isn't the only problem, though. It has been a bit problematic getting rid of the metro passengers, and we haven't decided what to do with the train yet. There have been some problems with the guards, but we have managed to handle them. Although we had a slow start, we are still going to be able to move everything out and start hiding evidence about... about the... Uh, wrong. We have to leave immediately. I was trying to read the note. They wrote they wrote other text over the incorrect text on purpose to cloud it, I believe. Oh god, I forgot that I had twisted like that to read that. But I couldn't I couldn't make out what it originally said. That would take some Photoshop work to figure out. Separate one let one series of letters from the other ones. Is this supposed to be dirty window or that one type of window that's like weirdly covered in like squares to make it like point it's like pointy like pointy triangle squares on them pyramids all over the wind the glass to make it weirdly hard to look through or Where's that beeping coming from? Oh, that was that didn't count. Is it the... it's probably the gas sensor, right? Hello. My name is Leander Berg, and I'm the leader of the SNW scientist team, B2. As you may already know, this project is very important for the future of our country. We are between two major alliances, and we cannot trust either. If there's going to be another war, we won't last long. That's why you are here today. We are going to guarantee a safe future for our children and for everyone who lives in this country. Next, 
I'm going to tell you a bit about this underground complex and what we're doing here. The scientist team lives in the accommodation wing next to the laboratory. The door code is 2077. And then it just stops. 2077. I remember needing a code to get into through the, the giant bunker door. But I don't remember another door needing a code. Have I forgotten about something? And where are the gas sensors? I need this fan off. Is that a good idea? Why don't you turn? Weird. I figure that this must mean that down there, like down there, there's toxic, right? And so, like, this fan must turn off? Because the toxicity. The one that's pressed in. That's on and that's off, right? On, off? I think. Like, part of me would almost think the one facing me, the one that's sticking out towards me, would be the one that's currently on. But no, I think it's the one you're pressed re most recently, like, pushed into with your hand. So the top one being pressed in right now must mean that's on right now, right? Sensors. Is the is that the sensor up there? I'm a little worried that save. I don't want to lose the fan, but if I bring the fan to the gas sensor, do will then like recognize this as being bad? Yet <laughs> didn't like that. Uh, okay. That seems to have been ineffective. I hoped. That got us in there. Nothing opened here. We came from there, right? There's a beeping around here. Yeah, because the sensor's up there. Bad air. I still have nine packs of batteries left. So that thing is detecting the mushrooms. That's the beeping. But it says the other sensors have to sense them? So that's what the sensor looks like, is that weird little smoke detector looking thing. So... Where is the other one? Does not seem to be in there. Maybe it's just up there somewhere? I just have to nail it at throwing this up there? I mean, I've saved. I don't know how well I can throw up there, though. No, it seems to repel it. Like, that's where the wires go to. But that's probably just for triggering the fan, not necessarily wiring up to the sensor. Where is the other sensor? Sneaky, sneaky. It's hidden back here. 
right by the filing cabinets before I had a reason to look for it yet. So it's back here. So when I picked up that bear as a potential puzzle solution object, I was, uh, basically joking. <laughs> but it seems to have genuinely become that. Why aren't you closing? Oh no. First of all, why don't you close? But yeah, could there be another one? <gasps> it's at the entrance of every important location. Everywhere there's an access to the main areas, there's another sensor. Oopsie. The problem is, uh, do I have another corrupted thing to use? <coughs> Sorry about that. Well, that screws me a bit. I need to find another corrupted thing, another mushroom source. And I take it I can't just like grab these? Ow. Not really. Well, shit. I can't go down there, I don't think. Actually, I don't think I want to. So, I need another source like you. Because you don't, you don't... Yeah, you don't keep beeping. It only does that when it's nearby. So I need a, I need another source. Ah, crap. Where have I not been yet? Maybe the 2077 will come in handy? Can't open the lab. I don't think the lab has a, has a code input for me to use. That makes 10 packs of batteries for the flashlight. And I don't think there's... <laughs> this guy again. Uh, crap, crap, crap. 2077. Is there a place I can use that? Dude, this is the infected area. And grab something from around here. Hat. Okay, we're done. We're good. There was also a hat. <laughs> Absurd. <laughs> So now I have a corrupted item to hold up to each of the sensors, so I can get to the fan. What a strange game. Why are these safe, by the way? To carry around when this mushroom stuff kills me? There we go. That'll shut you up. Hopefully it doesn't turn off them while I'm in the middle of going through it. Surface access? Could be. Oh, there we have it. We have surface access. Again. Really doesn't mean anything at this point. I've been to the surface so many times and I never seem to be able to escape. Oh, creepy spiky opening. I don't like that. Oh, it's spiky because it used to have these on it and now it's ripped open? Oh, I'm moving weird.
I can go back down that one. Can I really not escape from here? Can't even walk up this thing. Come on, show me your impressive upper body strength. No? Oh. 